It may seem a little early to think about the holidays, but the Salvation Army is already issuing a cry for help. The Red Kettle campaign kicks off in just a few weeks, and with COVID-19 and early online shopping, it's not looking hopeful for the Army to meet its goal. Nicole Ford is live now to explain what you can do to help. Nicole? Stacy, there are a couple barriers this nonprofit faces heading into its biggest fundraiser of the year. One is these empty parking lots with fewer shoppers out because of COVID-19. Also, fewer people are stepping in to help and less disposable income for people to donate. The ringing of the bells is a common sound heard at the end of the year. Literally uh, totals hundreds and hundreds of, of kettle locations. Which means thousands more volunteers are needed to man them. Getting volunteers uh, is, is a primary need for us right now. With COVID-19, typical volunteers like senior citizens have dropped out from the Salvation Army's red kettles, leaving a hole in the campaign. Christmas Day, maybe two and a half months away, but the kettle season is uh, starts just around the corner at the beginning of November. Now more than ever, Captain Ted Tressler says the organization needs to meet the $2.3 million goal for Western Pennsylvania. In just the first three months of the pandemic, uh, we distributed uh, over a quarter million meals. We're going to see probably around 155% increase in uh, requests for assistance at Christmas. Add in more online shopping and less foot traffic at the stores. Tressler says every kettle is needed. There are many more neighbors uh, who are uh, near us uh, who would not normally uh, have to come to the Salvation Army for help, for food or toys or utility assistance or to uh, keep from being evicted from their homes. If you would normally donate money but can't this year, Tressler suggests donating sometime four hours uh, you know after work or something like that or in the morning whatever uh, it's it's uh, every little bit is is needed and it helps now new this year there's also a social distancing training plan in place to make sure both the bell ringer and the donator feel safe outside each store now if you are interested in signing up to donate all you have to do is call your local salvation army chapter Reporting live in Robinson Township, Nicole Ford, KDKA News.